Are you watching? Yeah, you're just checking your name, I know. Yeah, I'm just typing your name right now. Okay. Oh, yo, turn your mic off. I can hear myself. Nice.
needs a place that I can prioritize. Oh my, I look at the signs and I pray. Just lead me away from here. The walls are thick. Tell me at what cost I'll find a ticket or ride. I'll be waiting for the perfect time. Sometimes when I look in my eyes, I'll be gliding through these hopeless dreams of mine. When it's right to step out of line, I'll be waiting. Waiting in a secret form, and I'll find a ticket or ride.
since we started. It's hardly news to you. I've seen you play your cards. You should have mentioned me. Instead of being a
making some paper to chase I've been grappling all year, still ain't taking a break Like my need to vacate, get my shades out the case Trust me, can't nobody ever throw shade on the ace It ain't never easy, I had to wait for my plate Promises were made, but man, they're blatantly fake Had to change up my ways, I just waved up the game Now the radio plays, I just making me cake Looking steezy, got your girlfriend in the feelings Then I'm linking Simon, talking millions in meetings 19 years old, four bills and we go eating Nighting on the plate, four circles on the key ring Looking like the charts, come like looking in the mirror Murdered every preacher when you greet me, call me killer Rapper, not a preacher, God forgive me, I'm a sinner But I know you got my back, so I give thank you for my dinner Hottest jungle in the UK, give a f what you say They was popping back then, cause it's a new day Rapping back, 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 you're 30, it's too late Running up your gums, you ain't worthy, it's too fake Chopping rhythms up with YJ, got a whip and new tape Blocking women out my life, ain't got time for you, babe Boxing, roll my rider, trying to find a new wave Call the driver, run outside and get inside the new shape <laughs> Taking a pin of Hey, pop to pop to, but I'm taking a trip Straight to the moon and then straight to the booth Go and lace up my shoes and head straight to your Basically, I'm going crazy with this You ain't taming me, please stay away from the kid Hit the belly, now I can't stay away from the fridge Really popping, you ain't stopping me, I'm made for this really. One step, two step, rap or who's next? I'm the truth, so don't ever get the youth vexed Doing what I do, I'm making moves, I got my crew set Headlock in the game, gonna finish it with a suplex I've been killing it seriously, where the f*** have you been? Be the odds, I'm like the haters, every point got proven Let me in and now they sit because your boy's a nuisance Take the f*** a little bit, but you can't knock the movement Mum and dad are happy to be taking off And they ain't got a woman but a mortgage because I paid it off Had to take my shot because I really couldn't take my job Now I'm making grump, it's kinda hard to find a way to not <laughs> With my baby cakes, I'm baking off You know she loves the baby face, it's basically call me babe a lot Take her on a date, thanks for she really made the spot Sexy with the makeup, but sexy when she take it off Took someone call me down, I'm on fire, they be flaming hot Sick of celebrating, all I hear this year was take a shot All I get is W's, it's winning, got me faded off Speak my mind every time I see the mic Say it how it is, I just be me fam, I don't need to lie Easy with it, G, I bring the peace and keep my peace of mind Do it for the cake and I won't sleep until they eat a slice But don't f*** about, I swear I'll put the shutters down You're lucky if I take a break, you f*** up on something now Put the beats in bed, go cut my check and then I'm cutting now So the head is head is got me bugging out Why the man pretending like the with a kid Indirectly sending, got you looking like a for everyone, but trusting them's a myth. Live your life a punch. I ain't just trying to punch you up. A big night here at a stadium named after one of the greats of world football. We're at the Johan Cruyff Arena. My name is Derek Ray, and with me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal fullback Lee. De Dixon. And we have pre-season group stage action from the European Continental Shield coming up. This ought to be a terrific spectacle, Lee. Yeah, first game of their pre-season. Time to dust off those cobwebs and start getting the fitness back, Derek. Wouldn't be surprised to see the manager give some of the young players a ride out too. There's definitely a few on the cusp of breaking into the first team. Will he play it in? This looks promising. Clean challenge. Well, nicely cut out. Now, what can they do with the ball? Martin. High quality defending. Kemp. Cissé.
Deman. Hodson. A move of promise on the flank. Oh, he's given the ball away. Well, Lee, interested to get your opinion in the potential approach of the visitors today. Well, I suppose you can't blame them for travelling away and adopting a defend-what-we-have mentality. Let's see if that pans out for them today. I'm not so sure it will. Freeman. Clay. Deman. Looking confident with the ball at his feet. Magnificent defending. The high press was very much on. Hodson. Hodson. Martin. Moyo. Every pass hitting its target. Martin. Moyo. Winter. Hodson. That's how to dispossess your opponent. Clay. And a really single minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Untidy in possession. Now, what can they do from here? And he read it well defensively. Couldn't keep it. Deman. Freeman. Loves to attack from the wide areas. And moving the ball nicely. Well, he's given it away. Moyo. Winter. Promising attack, this. Must take the lead here. And they have. You've got to say, it has been coming. Well, here we we'll see it again. Some lovely quality passing. Fluid as you like. And he takes full advantage of the time he's given. It's an accomplished finish, too. The opening goal of the game, then. Freeman. Kemp. Deman. Cissé. Clay. Is it going to end up being productive for them? They've given it away. Winter. Martin.
Moyo. Winter. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Well, possibilities inside the box. Just looking for the right moment for that final pass. Martin. Moyo. Winter. Well read to win possession back. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. There's some things I'd like to say I'll never come out in any way Don't forget Things change when you're older Wish I was younger with my kiss lips I didn't ever even come to this All this time You were my Rest a little heart And I'm beginning Hello everyone and welcome. What we can't complain about today is the weather. Absolutely perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray, joined in the commentary position by Lee Dixon. And we have more live action from the pre-season third group stage for you to look forward to. Lee, this should be magnificent. Yeah, both teams looking to finish the group strongly and make a positive start to their seasons. You have to say it's been a great tournament up to now. The fans have been out in force, getting to meet the players, getting their shirts signed. It's on a much bigger scale than it was back when I used to play in pre-season games, that's for sure. Poor pass. That's a goal! And a goal it is! No long wait for the opener today. Well, here we see it again, Derek. He's just unaware there's people around him and he loses it too easily. Then it's catch-up and they can't recover. Terrible goal to concede. 1-0 then. Deman. Well, unable to bend his run offside. Precise ball movement. Kramer. 
And showing fine vision. There wasn't much in that offside decision. Could have been in business. And he read it superbly. Did well to win the ball back. Possession and patience, the watchwords. Well, racing past his man. Difficult to stop him. Plays it back. Terrific block there. Well, technically offside, but not by a lot. Clay. Now well, he's given us away. Jan Matt. Michael Kramer. Moving it forward. Far from a good pass. Wasteful again in possession. Read it well. Wilkinson. Kemp. Well, they want that equaliser, but the passing remains smooth. They just missed that little bit of attacking spark. Goalkeeper's ball. John Housens. Nice looking pass. Michael Kramer. Disappointing pass. Wilkinson. Deman. A glorious chance. And a goal! Real excitement here, the equaliser! Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. And the thunderous strike to beat the keeper hands down is absolutely brilliant. Even Steven won a piece on this match. John Housens. Daryl Janmat. Kramer. Housens. John Housens. Well, they're keeping their opponents moving and guessing. Might really be able to trouble them here. Cuts it back. Oh, a tremendous block. Well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. And the counter-attack came to nothing. He's given us away. And threading it forward. Now, will they do it from here? Keeper getting the touch. Well, no damage done. 
This attack looks highly promising. Can he put them in front? Oh no, he's missed the opportunity. And they remain level. Well, he found himself in a great position, but he couldn't find the finish. Just one minute of time added on for stoppages here. One minute of added time. Just not looking confident in possession. Now the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're... As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Kishna. Dangerous looking attack. Happy to pass the ball, but remaining patient. Real danger. Top class defending. A really fascinating transfer story, and this is now fact. David Alaba has completed his move to Arsenal League. Well, big chance! My goodness, that save, fully stretched he was, one for his own highlights reel. Played into the centre of the box. Well, as a defender, that will sit you down to the ground. This might be ideal for the counter. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? Abdenasser El Kayati. And taking it away. Kishna. Fay. Housens. I must say, this looks promising. given away I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far well he stepped up to the plate to get that gold and they could do damage the importance of that tackle cannot be overstated counter attacking very much an option can they keep it going Intercepting it intelligently. El Kayati. He's got the right idea with that pass. And he's alone in the middle by the look of things. Well, not the greatest pass. Easily intercepted. Fruitful looking attack. Teammate available. Housens. Showing patience as well as persistence in the build up. And a very good challenge. Cisse. Kemp. He's found a pocket of space. Have to rob them of possession. This looks promising. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. Sends it back. Housens. Is this the moment? And a goal! Just like that, they're back in front. 
Well, here we see it again, and it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, but then there's plenty to do from there. He's hit it so well, lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. Great strike. John Housens. Kishna. And the flag has gone up, offside. Deman. Cisse. Kemp. A really effective shielding under pressure. And now they have the ball back. Ten minutes left for play in this match. But attacking possibilities. And dispossessed. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Well, clearly offside. That's not what they need at this stage. Well, yeah, he was off, but he's no need to be. And they're making a change. El Kayati. Housens. Kishna. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. It's still there for him. Well, time just challenged magnificently. And five minutes to go. Deman. Well, into an attacking position. It's not too late for them. And he saw the situation developing. Now can they counter clinically? They need to get bodies back. Well, it fizzled out. Abdelasso El Kayati. indicated there will be a minimum of one minute. Read it well. Ball played nicely. And there goes the final whistle. It's gone the wrong way as far as the home fans are concerned, Lee. Well, I guess they might feel a little hard done by by today's result. Not a great deal between the two. Sometimes it's just like, sometimes it's just like, etc, 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 sometimes it's just like, sometimes it's just like, etc, 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 let go of the nonsense, all that you hear.
And welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary is the former Arsenal defender, Lee Dixon. And you can really sense the anticipation on the crowd ahead of kickoff with their respective league seasons about to get underway. This should be high intensity stuff, Lee. Well, thank you, Derek. Brilliant atmosphere here today. All that hard slog in pre season, all aimed for this game. First game of the season, all that preparation is for this. It's for this 90 minutes. Focus on it, get the three points, move on to the next one. Looking forward to it. Kemp has the strength to hang on to it. Clay. Deman. Wilkinson. Deman. Clay, Wilkinson, Cissé, Kemp, news coming through of a goal on the Bolton game, Alan McAnally. It's a goal for the visitors, 10 minutes played, 1-0. Thanks very much as always, Alan. Thomas, well, couldn't quite find his teammate. could really get at the opposition and no worries for the goalkeeper Thomas and news coming through from one of the other matches it's a penalty award Alan McAnally it's a penalty for the visitors he's put the ball down on the spot he steps up to take it He's put it wide! 16 minutes played, it remains 1-0. Many thanks, Alan. Untidy on the ball. Thomas. May. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Can he put them in front? Absolutely spot on with that challenge. Thomas Wilkinson Kemp Clay and they continue to advance and a lot of options here and moving the ball nicely it is to be a throw in Thomas, Kemp, well we can now go to Alan McAnally for news of a goal elsewhere, Alan? It's the second goal for Bradford City, 25 minutes played, 2-0. Thanks as ever for the update, Alan. Wanted to keep it but couldn't. He's given it straight to the opposition. Williams. Thomas, once more unable to hang on to the ball, Thomas, and Toza has it, still passing it around with authority, Thomas, well, he strayed offside just as it looked promising.
Thomas. Well, he was in the right place to intercept. Deman. Kemp. A goal has been scored in one of the other games. Alan McAnally has the news. It's a goal for Oldham Athletic. 36 minutes played. 1-0. Alan McAnally with his finger on the pulse. Thomas. An alert intervention. Can they trouble the opposition this time? Deman. Can they get in behind them? Must take the lead here. And they have. You've got to say, it has been coming. Well, we can take another look at this now. And he's connected so well with it. Generated a lot of power. And the keeper just can't react in time. Look. The opening goal of the game then. Thomas. May, Williams, Thomas. May, might be a chance here. And a goal! An end-to-end -end game, and they weren't behind for long. Well, as we see again here, this really is patient, accurate, incisive passing at its best. And when he gets through to the keeper, he just smashes it past him and gives him no chance to think. A lovely finish. So, a level contest. 1-1. One, one. Well, in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. So, the whistle then. We're at the halfway stage in this match. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, there's never a bad time to score a goal, but just before half-time can be crucial. And he's got his team back in this game. to the second half then and these two sides are locked together just can't really choose between them at the moment Cisse Deman Kemp oh he's through here and a goal it is to put them in front again no less than they deserve Well, here's the replay, and it's a decent move to evade the defender. But as good as the move is, the goalkeeper has had an absolute shocker. Beaten at his near post. Terrible. So there we have it. 2-1. Well, we can now go to Alan McAnally for news of a goal elsewhere. Alan? It's a second goal for Oldham Athletic. 50 minutes, please. 2-0. Thank you, Alan McAnally. Well, Real Madrid have been very busy on the transfer front. They've assessed their target, Lee, and they've got him. Well, Derek, the fans are really going to love him. He's a top player, a real pro. In fact, he's a manager's dream. Thomas, May, a 
Lovely ball over the top. Well, the flag has gone up. It was really close. And the substitution will occur now. They've regained possession. Well, someone has found the net in one of the other games. Here's Alan McInerney to tell us more. It's a second goal for Morecambe. 56 minutes played. 2-1. Thanks, Alan. The visitors have totally controlled possession, but after that, it's been disappointing. I'd like to see them use those wide areas around the defence, get round them as opposed to trying to go through the middle. Clay. Oh, big opportunity! My goodness, Lee, the goalkeeper had his work cut out for him, but delivered. Yeah, that's what they do. Look at that save, a brilliant effort. So the corner played into the box. Clay. Thompson. Can they hit on the break? And the decision offside here. Making excellent progress with the ball at his feet. Thomas. I understand there's been a goal in the Bolton Wanderers game. Let's hear all about it from Alan McInerney. It's a second goal for the visitors. 65 minutes played. 2-1. Alan McInerney with his finger on the pulse. Tackling and winning the ball to boot. Magnificent defending. Well read to win possession back. Thomas. Williams. And I must say, that was a very promising attack. The alarm bells were sounding. Deman. It is a decent looking attack here. And an astute piece of defending. A goal has been scored in one of the other games. Alan McAnally has the news. It's a second goal for Southend United. 73 minutes played. 2-2. Thanks as ever for the update, Alan. Well, he's given it away. Fifteen minutes remaining. Freeman. And slipped through beautifully. Well, can they make one of these passes count? And it might be. Making sure nothing untoward happened. Superb tackle. Boyle. Over the touchline for a throw in. And they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Well, it's a cracking atmosphere in here. The players just need to harness that energy from the crowd to see them through in this game. Cissé. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. I'm hearing that there's been a goal in one of the other matches. Who is it for, Alan McAnally? It's a goal for the visitors. Eight minutes remain. 2-1. Thank you, Alan McAnally. And it's with Tozer. And into an attacking position. It's not too late for them. May. Teammates available. And this time, it's in! Well, the goal will not stand. It is offside. Yeah, good football there, but just straight offside.
honestly, I don't think he was offsides either. I don't know why you're off of FaceTime, but listen, like, he was not offsides, bro, but I'll take it. And he scored a fucking banger goal. Like, oh, my God. Oh, did it hit him? Yo, it hit him. That's why. I think it hit him. I think it's him that's offsides. I think it hits him there. Yeah, it hits him. Yep, he's offsides as fuck. Now, if he doesn't touch that, yeah, he might have touched that. Yeah, he touched that. He's given it away. Trailing as they are, they're not likely to get too many opportunities late in this game. Well, strong play here. Making progress. Well, it didn't happen for them in attack. The referee's verdict is three additional minutes. We have entered the final minute of normal time. Dangerous looking attack. A really disappointing effort, you've got to say. Well, he's way, way off target. A real poor effort with his head. Boyle. And very deftly cut out. And there it is, the final whistle, and the fans will be leaving the stadium with smiles on their faces, Lee. Yeah, good result to start the campaign. Always important to get off to a quick start. A few of them seemed a bit leggy towards the end, but overall it was a good performance, and that will give them real confidence going into the next game. Well, I think it's accurate to say, Lee, that this man was the light bringer for his side. He's always a man to watch for the opposition, but they couldn't keep tabs on him in that vital moment when he grabbed that goal.
did I move too far? It's all too much. I think I must be mad to give you everything I had. Everything I had. Everything, everything, but it still went bad. Tell me to stop, but I keep on going. Tell me to stop, but I keep on going. Tell me to stop, but I keep on going. Keep on, keep on, keep on. You'll never stop this thing.
Hello everyone and welcome. What we can't complain about today is the weather. Absolutely perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray here in the commentary position and joining me will be Lee Dixon. And our live coverage comes to you from League Two. And what a game this promises to be, Lee. Yeah, thank you, Derek. Always my favourite time of the week, spending time with you at games. We should be in for a bell to hear with these two. Well, great read there to intercept. Good pass. And played to the front post. And he's given a corner, the referee. And firing it into the area. No nonsense clearance. Well, real excitement here, I say that, because it is his long-awaited debut coming up. What should we be looking for from him, Lee? Well, end product, Derek. His job, like any winger, is to supply both crosses and goals. Be brave. That means taking the ball in all sorts of situations. I think we're going to see that today. Big day for him. Well, I'm hearing there's been a goal in one of the other games. Alan McAnally can fill us in. It's a goal for Bolton Wanderers. Eight minutes played, 1-0. Thanks, Alan. Powell Nichols Tremendous ball played through And a goal To open the scoring A very bright start to this one Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. And he takes full advantage of the time he's given. It's an accomplished finish, too. The opening goal of the game, then. I believe there's been a goal in one of the other matches. Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Port Vale. 30 minutes played, 1-0. Thank you, Alan McAnally. Jake Hesketh. Nichols. It did look on for them, but not to be. Fruitful looking attack. An alert piece of defending. Right. Oh, a nice looking pass. It might be on for them. He's given it straight to the opposition. It's 
Still trailing, but they're upping the pressure. This could level it. And it is the equaliser. Parity now. And who's to say what's going to happen next? As we can see, right place at the right time. Striker's instinct is to be there or thereabouts. Keeper is no chance. Well, the goal again, albeit from a different angle. So, a level contest. 1-1. One, one. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Clay. Oh, lovely incisive pass. Can he do it? They've only gone and grabbed another one. Two goals in quick succession. Now they have the lead. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. And once he gets himself settled with the keeper to beat, he hammers it into the back of the net. Smashing goal. So there we have it, 2-1. Right. And space to exploit, maybe. Wonderful challenge, and a throw-in coming up. A goal has been scored in one of the other games. Alan McAnally has the news. It's a goal for the visitors. 28 minutes played, 1-0. Alan McAnally keeping us right up to date. Well, they've lost possession of the ball. Matthews. Powell. Well, they keep passing away. An attack full of promise. There to win it back. The visitors are struggling with possession, really. But they won't mind with that. They're winning this game. They're sucking their opponents onto them. And with the pace they've got in midfield and up front, they're really causing problems. Right. Showing patience, looking for the equaliser. Now he must favour the cross. Oh, maybe the equaliser. And the keeper able to hold on to it. Right. And that's gone out of play for what will be a goal kick. Cissé. And news of a goal in one of the other matches. Over to Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Cheltenham Town. 41 minutes played. 1-0. Thank you, Alan McAnally. And a creative look about this. Well, the keeper was always likely to do his job under no pressure. Right. Matthews. in strongly, decisively. Not a successful intervention, winning the ball back. So the whistle then. We're at the halfway stage in this match. You, sir. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. 
Cisse. Thomas. Kemp. Deman. Cisse. And that pass could be troublesome. That's all they can conjure for now. Highly significant piece of transfer business carried out. Gerard Moreno has completed his move to Atalanta, Lee. Well, I think everybody would be excited by this transfer. He's a real star turn, a proper player. I'd love to have played with him. Nichols. Well, they keep working away, looking for an opening. Good work to regain possession. Well, there might well be scope for them to counter-attack here. And that attack going up a dead end, and the keeper has the ball. Powell. The hosts have had the lion's share of possession. After that, it's been a little bit disappointing. Creativity in midfield is a little bit off. Certainly too slow in front of goal. Need to get wide, need to get crosses in the box. Jake Hesketh. What can he do from here? Must be! And the keeper more than equal to it. This corner kick might help them. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. And he clears the danger. Well, possibilities in the center. Big chance! A oh, good hit, close shave. Substitution for Crawley Town. Coming off the pitch, number 44, Josh Wright. To be replaced by number 39, Jake Hessen. Thomas. Can John Scott, that's John Scott, please make your way to the ticket office. You have your wife's ticket. Thank you. Cissé. Kemp. Deman. Making use of his physical strength to hang on to it. Clay. Cissé. It might be on for them. He's in behind. And news of a goal in one of the other matches. Over to Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for Scunthorpe United. 67 minutes played. 2-1. Thanks as ever for the update, Alan. Big corner here. Listen to the fans. They need to use that energy to suck the ball in. Can he get them level? And it's in! All square again. What a match this is turning out to be. Well, here's the replay. And there'll be a few accusing glances after that clearance. Giving away the ball there is criminal. And at this level, quite honestly, you get punished. Kemp. Cisse. We're now inside the final 20 minutes of the game. How oh, far from the ideal pass, you've got to say. Well, someone has found the net in one of the other games. Here's Alan McAnally to tell us more. It's a goal for the home team. 72 minutes played. 1 1. Regular updates from Alan McAnally along the way. Well, he's given it away. Can they create something from here? And he's through. And a goal to seal the hat-trick. A masterclass in finishing.
Sheng just can't stop him today. Well, here's the replay. That pullback cross is so hard to defend against. And then the sheer power of the strike, really impressive. It's a thunderbolt. Well, all the hard work has paid off, but the manager knows a lot more has to be done to secure this game. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Well, I'm hearing there's been a goal in one of the other games. Alan McAnally can fill us in. It's a goal for the visitors. 76 minutes played. 2-1. Many thanks, Alan. Good movement. Over the touchline for a throw in. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Kemp. Only 10 minutes remaining here. And winning it back. Well, they've got to give just a little bit more. The fans are demanding it. They could get themselves back into this one. Well, it sounds like a penalty has been awarded in one of the other matches. What can you tell us, Alan McAnally? It's a penalty for Carlisle United. He's put the ball down on the spot. OK, here he comes. Strike. Oh, goalkeepers don't save those. High and powerful to his left-hand side. Eight minutes remain. 3-1. Thanks very much, as always, Alan. Cissé. Thomas. Five minutes remaining, and one thing is certain, no one is leaving, because it's still close. Failed to keep hold of it. Powell. Trailing as they are, they're not likely to get too many opportunities late in this game. Kemp. What can he do from here? And the keeper had a role to play. They're still within touching distance. Well, he's kept his team in the game. Simple as that. And he's fired over the corner. Played into the centre of the box. Clattered away. Good looking cross. And not at all problematic for the goalkeeper. Powell. Well, there might well be scope for them to counter attack here. Well, it petered out. Clay. Cissé. And snuffing out the danger. And that is that. The referee blows his whistle for full time. And it's a victory for the visitors, Lee. Yeah, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends. But they probably just about edged it overall and deserved the result. Nichols. Tremendous ball play.
Our cameras on one man following a hat trick. Does he have another big performance in him this time? Stay with us on EA TV. Welcome, everyone, on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. This is Derek Ray, joined for commentary by former England international Lee Dixon, and live action coming up from the Carabao Cup. I certainly can't wait for this, Lee. Well, I suppose at this stage in the tournament, you can dream about the final, but an awful lot of football to be played, an awful lot of hard work, another step towards the final. I'm really looking forward to this one, Derek. Well, you never quite know who's going to emerge from the shadows and become a match winner, but this man might be a decent shout. Lee, what are you expecting from him? Well, yeah, Brace in his last game, he'll certainly be a threat. Can he get another two goals or even three in this game? And here's the starting lineup for Bolton Wanderers. Would you call it 4 5 1, Lee? Yeah, I really like this formation, Derek. 4 2 3 1, really. Two central midfield players supplying support to a three ahead of them, and then a lone striker with a number 10 just behind him. Graham. Doyle. Graham. Looks promising, this. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. And it was turned out, so a throw-in will be next. He could pick out a teammate. Not showing good defensive judgment. Nicely timed tackle. Well, high quality defending. Doyle. Another perfect position to read it. Clay.
Kemp. Deman. They might be able to get in now. He's in behind the defence here. And thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. Oh, lovely weighted ball. They might be in. Can he give them the lead? Oh, the post denied him. Intercepting it intelligently. Well, so close to breaking the deadlock, but not to be. The woodwork came to the rescue, Derek. Looking for that final pass. Looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Well, he's given a corner, the referee. Played into the centre of the box. Just couldn't capitalise there. No nonsense clearance. And they are on the move again. Lost possession. John, Graham, fluency of movement. It has to be, and there it is, the opening goal, 1-0, and they'll feel they deserve it. Well, when you move the ball this well, and this smoothly, then it's really difficult to stop. That's paved the way for a super goal. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? One nil then. Bolton Wanderers goal, number nine, Owen Doyle. Clay. Deman, Kemp, Cisse, Thomas, what can they do from here, tremendous challenge, Graham, and very deftly cut out. Not a pass that lacks quality. Graham almost weighing up the opposition with a string of neat passes. Owen Doyle, extremely sloppy in possession. Deman, what can he do from here? And the cross is very much on. Can he finish? And able to get a body in the way. Now can they make something happen? Interception to snuff out the danger. Cissé. Thomas. Well, they want that equaliser, but the passing remains smooth. Excellent defending. John. Graham. 
Doyle. Mastery of the passing game. Well, there is going to be stoppage time, but only the one minute. Plenty of options. Well, they're eyeing that final pass, you just feel. Well, the managers will now deliver their half-time team. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Doyle. Looks promising this. A glorious chance. And the goalkeeper covered a lot of ground to push that away from danger. Thomas. Cisse. Kemp. And a very significant piece of transfer business carried out. And this is now official. We have confirmed it. Presnel Kimpembe has completed his move to Tottenham League. Well, he ticks a lot of boxes for me. Quality all round, energy, technique. He's got the full package. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. And there to intervene. And giving it away. Possession is the watchword inside their own territory. John. Deman. This attack looks highly promising. Thomas. And using his strength to shield the ball. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. And breaking at pace with Menace. He's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Lee? Well, this Derek, it certainly was a good 45 minutes from the lad. Obviously got the goal to give him the lead. But he's looked very, very lively as well. Thank you. Not getting anxious when they have the ball. It's there for him. And a goal. Calls for celebrations again. Two in front. Well, it seemed like just a matter of time before they scored. Delicate, incisive play has done the damage. Let's have another view of that goal. Well, they've decided to make a change. It's going their way, 2-0. Bolton Wanderers goal, number 10, Kemp. Anthony Sosa. Deman. The hosts have had the lion's share of possession. And what that does, it just relaxes the team. If you've got the ball, you enjoy the ball. And they're turning it into goals as well. Well, they couldn't keep possession.
Dangerous looking attack. Well, disappointing end to the move. And cleared away. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Demand. The goal appeared to be at his mercy, but defenders always have a part to play in these situations. Well, if you can't block the shot, put the forward off, and that's exactly what happened there, but it's just off target. Doyle. Top class defending. Cisse. On the offensive. Not showing good defensive judgment. There might well be scope for them to counter-attack here. Well, it looked highly promising, but it came to nothing in the end. John. Owen Doyle. Well, he's given it away. And cleared behind for what is going to be a corner kick. Over it comes. Well, it has come to nothing. Owen Doyle. There to win it back. Cissé. Moving the ball forward with purpose. It looks promising. Could reduce the deficit. And in it goes. And you never know in this game. They might yet be able to level it. Well, as we see again here, the damage is started with a beauty of a through ball. And then through on goal. Do you go for placement or do you go for power? Well, he certainly wasn't messing around, was he? Absolutely smashes it past the keeper. It's a really lovely finish. So there we have it. 2-1. Well, they weren't so hard here to be in front, and that's been recognised by the supporters. They just need to hold on a bit longer to see this out. Inside the final two minutes of this contest. Demand. So three minutes of stoppage time coming up. It's with touch. Doyle. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. in the center moving the ball effectively looking for the right moment there's the final whistle the home fans are jubilant they are going through well with a tight game like this you're after a good performance they got that it was an entertaining game as well sometimes it comes down to being fitter than the opposition a little bit of luck sometimes but also being mentally strong is a huge asset for a team well, his performance in this particular game will have impressed many people, Lee. Well, that was a really, really good performance from the lad and a goal to boot. Really delighted with that goal, I'm sure he is.
This is the kind of occasion we all relish as football fans. Non-stop hype all week long. And now for the action. Well, most of the fans in attendance here have had to bring their umbrellas and wear their raincoats. It's a soggy day for this match. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary is the former Arsenal defender, Lee Dixon. And League Two action is what's on the menu coming up live. This should be high-intensity stuff, Lee. Thanks, Derek. Yeah, really looking forward to both teams producing entertaining football. Let's see if we get that. Enjoy the game. And this confrontation is underway. Jordan Bowery. He continues his run. Can they forge ahead? In it goes! An early opening statement in this match. And look at the celebrations. Well, here's the replay. It's a really lovely through ball. And still with lots to do, he unleashes a very powerful effort. Gave the keeper little chance. Lovely goal that was. Goal for Man the opening Town. goal of the game then. Deman. Cissé. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. Reed. Well, it's one pass after another. Reed. Chance here. And this time it's in. Fabulous goal. And just look at the celebrations. Well, here it is again. You're trained from a young age to get in those sort of positions. I'm never in any real doubt he'd finish that. Cool and composed. Well, a second goal for them here. Reed, Jordan Bowery. Oh, he's really opened them up here. Another goal! And surely there's no way they can throw this away. Absolutely dominant. Well, here's the replay, and what a ball that is to put him through. But you do have to ask questions about the keeper. Could he have done better here? I think so. You can't keep getting beat at the near post like that. Is this going to be a thrashing? Three near...
one man the focus of attention. He's been in terrific form as evidenced by four goals in three games. Stay with us. Well, nights like these are just what you hope for as a spectator. A warm welcome. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary is Lee Dixon. And very much ready to bring you the cut and thrust of League Two. This ought to be a terrific spectacle, Lee. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players how important it is to get off to a quick start here. Attack the game from the off, impose your game plan, and hopefully we get a good game. Well, you never quite know who's going to dominate a game in advance, but I think you can maybe make an argument for this fellow. Lee, what do you think we'll see from him? Well, four goals in his last three games. He's in superb form. He's going to be really hard to stop. The defenders need to be on their game. The line-up then for Thank the hosts. Enjoy the game. But as a team, Lee, they love to apply almost suffocating pressure. Based on the lineup, do you expect the same approach today? Yeah, I think so, Derek. It makes it really difficult for the opponents to find their rhythm unless their touch is absolutely perfect. It forces mistakes, so I'd expect we'll be seeing plenty of that from them today. Possession changes hands. The interception there. And the pass, a good one. Kemp. An authoritative challenge. And that's an important intervention. Riley. Patrick. Well, that's one for them to pursue. Unable to keep the ball that. Well, they keep working away, looking for an opening. Really good challenge. Over the touchline for a throw in. Options in the centre. Deman. Cisse. Will it be? Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. Guy. Tanner. Riley. Patrick. No high quality defending. Freeman. And that's going to be the goalkeeper's ball. Well, they no longer have the ball. Well, there's been a goal elsewhere. Alan McAnally with the latest. It's a goal for Southend United. 19 minutes played, 1-1. Many thanks, Alan. Toure. With Phil Jones, that's Kemp. Phil Jones. Please contact your nearest... He's going forward well here. Are they going to forge ahead? And a goal! 1-0 it is. They've been pushing for the opener, and now they have it. Well, there's all types of goals, spectacular headers, overhead kicks. This is a simple one, but it still adds up to a goal on the score sheet. Well, the goal again, albeit from a different angle. One nil then.
Riley. Guy. Patrick. Bennett. And a tidy ball. Oh, good use of the ball. Tanner. Patrick. Guy on the offensive. A real defensive commitment there. Patrick. Toure. And a really single minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. As you can see, the visitors don't have too much of the ball, but on the break, they've been devastating. The pace really hurts defences. They've been electric when they've had the ball. Patrick. Looking for that final pass and for that chance to level the game. Deman could play it in what can he do from here well body in the way element of risk there but he's won the ball well someone has found the net in one of the other games here's Alan McInerney to tell us more it's a goal for Stevenage 35 minutes played, 1-1. Regular updates from Alan McAnally along the way. Well, they could run onto it here. Oh, a stellar piece of defending. Clay. Kemp. Deman. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. Riley. Patrick. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Is it going to end up being... Well, here's the replay, and it's an exquisite ball over the defence. And the timing to get this spot on, yes, it needs a bit of luck, but boy, does it need skill as well. It's a brilliant goal. It's going their way, 2-0. And the electronic board showing one additional minute. Guy Riley a chance then for the respective managers to address their charges it is half time here plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins Deman and a fine tackle and news of a goal in one of the other matches over to Alan McAnally it's a goal for Walsall 49 minutes please 1-1 many thanks Alan it did look on for them but not to be bodies forward and the break looks on they need to get bodies back. Well, not to be in terms of the counter-attack. 
He succeeds in clearing it. Crossing possibilities. Well read to ease the pressure. Having won the ball back, they might be able to profit. Superbly read and executed. Riley. A oh, terrific pass. And the news confirmed before the game, Manchester City have finally got the man lead. Well, Derek, the figure, I think, is around £60 million. I think you're getting one heck of a player for that sort of money. He should be a real asset to the club. It might be on for them. Crucial interception amid impending danger. Well, here's the replay, and it's a lovely through ball to set up the chance. And when he gets through to the keeper, he just smashes it past him and gives him no chance to think. A lovely finish. This is looking rather comfortable for them. 3-0. And he read it well, intercepting it. Doing well to keep possession. Deman. Cisse. The pass could do damage. Chance, maybe. A goal has been scored in one of the other games. Alan McAnally has the news. It's a second goal. It might be. Keeper did his job to begin with. It's a corner. And now the delivery. A really disappointing effort, you've got to say. Well, he's way, way off target. A real poor effort with his head. Well, how many goals are we going to get? The chances are just coming thick and fast. Defensively, they're all over the place. Can they make them pay a little bit more? It looks like they can. Perfectly positioned to take it away. And well, we did have to cut off Adam McAnally for understandable reasons. To recap, the hosts did score in that game. And they're locked together in a thriller now at 2-2. Guy. Beautifully disguised ball. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. What can they do from here? Toure. Can they get in behind them? Can he take advantage? Brilliant, crisp and clean tackle. Can they survive? Clay. There's a slide draw pass. Well, it all counts for naught. Anderton. Really good interception. Riley. Now oh, that pass easy on the eye. Alas, he's made his move too early. Offside. And with play stop, they will make the change now.
Guy. Showing patience as well as persistence in the build-up. It did appear that they might be onto something, but not so. Beautiful pass. And that's an important intervention. Anderton. Anderton. They're really pressing their opponents. Oh, that's a well-timed pass. And a pretty straightforward stop for the goalkeeper there. Yeah, weak shot, straight at him, no problem for the goalie. One minute remaining. And the electronic board delivers the news. Two minutes of stoppage time. Dennis. Now there to intercept. And that is that. The referee blows his whistle for full time. And it's a victory for the visitors, Lee. Well, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? Particularly impressive up front. Their forwards really hit form today. The result was never much in doubt, if I'm honest. And I think it's accurate to say, Lee, that this man was the light bringer for his side. Well, that was a really, really good performance from the lad. And a goal to boot. Really delighted with that goal, I'm sure he is. He's going forward well here. Are well, they going to forge ahead? And a goal! 1-0 it is! They've been pushing for the opener, and now they have it! Is it going to end up being productive for them? Oh, what a perfect ball now. How about...
And welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. I'm Derek Ray, joined by Lee Dixon in the commentary position. And our live coverage comes to you from League Two. Really looking forward to this one, Lee. Thanks, Derek. Yeah, really looking forward to both teams producing entertaining football. Let's see if we get that. Kemp. Clay. Cissé. They couldn't maintain possession. Clay. Dangerous looking attack. And attempting the through ball. Well, that's one for them to pursue. A really vital interception. And begging to be put away. And the keeper nowhere to be found. Not that he's complaining. Well, we're going to see the replay. The goalkeeper won't want to see this again. He gives the ball away. Still a bit to do, to be fair. But it's his fault. 1-0 then. Hall. Well, someone has found the net in one of the other games. Here's Alan McInerney to tell us more. It's a goal for the visitors. Ten minutes played, 1-0. Thank you, Alan McInerney. Well, he had to read it and get there, and did. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Hall. Well, it could be on for him here. Still possibilities. Well, they can bring it out now. Well, you have to say they're a little bit lucky still to be leading this one. Crowd, to be fair, are right behind the players. It needs an accurate cross. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Well, I'm hearing there's been a goal in one of the other games. Alan McAnally can fill us in. It's a goal for Stevenage. 18 minutes played, 1-0. Thanks, Alan. Well, attacking possibilities. Well, they continue their push for the equaliser, but definitely not forcing it. He has time to play it over. Excellent defending. And plenty of scope to be created in that wide position. Excellent ball over the top. He's gone and found the net! Brilliant piece of finishing! Magnificent goal! Well, here's the replay, and it's an exquisite ball over the defence. But as good as the move is, the goalkeeper has had an absolute shocker. Beaten at his near post, terrible. Well, a second goal for them here.
pole. And unable to keep possession. Power. Showing a real will to win the ball. Could be a chance to break here. And the flag has gone up, offside. Looks promising this. And teammates to play it to. I believe there's been a goal in one of the other matches. Alan McAnally. It's a goal for the visitors. 32 minutes played. 1-1. One, one. Alan McAnally with his finger on the pulse. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. The hosts are struggling in terms of possession, but on the break, they've been devastating. The pace really hurts defences. They've been electric when they've had the ball. Oh, it was a close run thing, but the goalkeeper just got there first. Really nice ball. He just needs to stay level-headed now. Goodness me, what was going through his mind there? Well, his brain said one thing and his feet did another. Not a pass that lacks quality. Man, and there might well be scope for them to counter attack here. Well, technically offside, but not by a lot. Hall. Tremendous ball played through. Dangerous looking attack. A chance to eat into their lead. Able defending, but can they keep it out? The goal appeared to be at his mercy, but defenders always have a part to play in these situations. Well, if you can't block the shot, put the forward off, and that's exactly what happened there, but it's just off target. And so it is, the first half story has been written. Well, he normally delivers, I think that's fair to say, but he hasn't delivered in this match. Well, I feel for him today, I really do. It's one of those days in the office, a bad day, I'm afraid. He's one of the reasons they're behind in this game. He's not performing well at all today. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Deman. Just the clearance that was needed. 
Well, let's get details of a goal that's been scored in one of the other games from Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for Crawley Town. 49 minutes played. 2-0. Thank you, Alan McAnally. Well, many have been speculating about this, but now we can report officially Stefan de Frey has completed his move to Paris Saint-Germainly. Well, the fee is around £50 million, pounds, Derek. That's what I would pay for him. I think he's a really good player. I think he'll add real value to the club. Magnificent defending. And he did what he had to do defensively. The visitors' possession stats are brilliant. However, after that, the coach will be disappointed with what they produced. They need to be a little bit more clinical in front of goal. Deflected behind, corner forthcoming. Here it is now, a substitution. And over comes the corner. Well, as a defender, that will sit you down to the ground. Deman. Showing good defensive judgment. And the keeper had the measure of it. Well, he's given a corner, they referee. And now the delivery. Well, no problems defensively. And he's through here. Surely... In it goes! A three-goal cushion! This is astonishing stuff! Well, when we see this again, it is a wonderful effort, a solo effort. Got to question the defenders. They just back off him, and he takes full advantage. Well, let's have another view of that goal. And as they restart the game, it's fair to say the gulf in quality between the two sides has been huge. Well, a joy to watch. Stead. Now, will they be able to play it in behind the defence? And he takes it away. Deman moving into the advanced position and in with a real chance another goal the lead grows to four now a rampant display well here's the goal again and it's a great ball to put him through and then through on goal do you go for placement or do you go for power well, he certainly wasn't messing around, was he? Absolutely smashes it past the keeper. It's a really lovely finish.
The man of the moment, in wonderful form, can he add to his goal-scoring haul today on EA TV? And welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. I'm Derek Ray, joined here on the commentary box by Lee Dixon. And very much ready to bring you the cut and thrust of League Two. This should be high intensity stuff, Lee. Well, I'm excited about this one. Great atmosphere in here. Everybody looking forward to this game, especially me and you. Well, you never quite know who's going to emerge from the shadows and become a match winner, but this man might be a decent shout. Lee, what are you expecting from him? Well, I expect goals, Derek. The form he's in, you expect goals every time you see him. You'd hope that back line had been studying the tapes, but most Thank of the teams this season enjoying. haven't worked him out. And so the Forest Green Rovers starting 11. We're thinking 4-3-3. Yeah, one central striker, Derek. The width comes from the wingers who will stay high and wide. 
A very narrow midfield and a conventional back four. Clay. Well, many have remarked upon the hosts and their preferred style, which is one of high pressing and trying to get the ball back quickly. Lee, do you expect to see more of that in this game? Yes, Derek, high pressing is their game, but there is a risk attached to it. If the opposition break through that press early on, you can be left vulnerable at the back. Bailey. And he read it well, intercepting it. Kemp getting in there to take it away. Deman. He's protecting it effectively. Cisse. Ball played nicely. Good reading of the game to win possession back. Well, let's get details of a goal that's been scored in one of the other games from Alan McAnally. It's a goal for the home team. Ten minutes played, 1-0. Thanks very much as always, Alan. Cissé. And can they make one of these? He'll try his luck here. Well, the keeper committed himself. And the referee has given them a corner. And firing it into the area. I must admit, I thought he was going to score with that header. Yeah, it was a quality cross, and he gets up well, and it's just wide. Bailey. Stokes. Adams. Bailey. Excellent passing. Oh, lovely, incisive pass. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. And news of a goal in one of the other matches. Over to Alan McAnally. It's a goal for the visitors. 18 minutes played, 1 0. Thank you, Alan McAnally. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. Very quick thinking there. Cissé. Deman. And it's a quality pass. That's all they can conjure for now. Stokes Adams possession changes hands the interception there untidy on the ball well we can now go to Alan McAnally for news of a goal elsewhere Alan it's a goal for Carlisle United 26 minutes played, 1-1. One, one. Thanks as ever for the update, Alan. Poor attempt at a pass, really. Cissé. Kemp. Clay. Deman. He's lost it. Bailey. Adams. Collins. On attacking possibilities. Oh, showing good patience. Looks promising this. Oh, in with a chance! 
Well, they can say a big thank you to the goalkeeper. That was inspirational. Well, that's as good as a goal at the other end. Brilliant save from the keeper. And an effective clearance. Well, another corner following on from the last one. Now the delivery, it didn't happen for them. Stokes, I believe there's been a goal in one of the other matches, Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for Southend United, 38 minutes played, 2-1. Cheers again, Alan. Must take the lead here. It might be on for them. Cissé. Kemp. Well, the timing of the pass, that little bit off. Adams. Collins has it. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Well, an example of a counter-attack that went nowhere. Deman. Another well, pass over hit. Bailey. Stokes. Well, there is going to be stoppage time, but only the one minute. One minute of added time. Adams. Collins has it. They do pass the ball with authority. And that will do it for now. They cannot be separated at the break. Lee, your impressions of the visitors so far? Well, Derek, they might be the top scorers, but they found it hard to find their rhythm today. I'm sure in the second half they'll produce some chances. Can they convert them? They normally do. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Cissé. Makanov. Deman. Well, nicely cut out. Adams Collins Definitely look as though they want to make this move count Still passing it around with authority Cissé well, Many a fan has been wondering about this It is now official Chiro Immobile has completed his move to Barcelona League well, Derek, the fans are really going to love him. He's a top player, a real pro. In fact, he's a manager's dream. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. And snuffing out the danger, but a corner coming up. Over it comes. Simple save, really. When you look at those stats, Derek, it tells a story all of its own. They haven't created enough chances. The forwards have been off the game as well. They haven't really utilised the wide areas for me, but they should go on and win the game, to be honest. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Adams. Allen. Stokes. Bailey showing patience as well as persistence in the build-up and we're inside the final 30 minutes Collins well it looked highly promising but they got nothing out of it well I'm hearing there's been a goal in one of the other games Alan McAnally can fill us in it's a second goal for the home team 63 minutes played 2-1 thanks as ever for the update Alan and intercepted it.
Der Mann. Can they create something from here? Oh, what an opportunity. Can't miss, surely. In it goes. The opening goal in this contest. As we can see, right place at the right time. Striker's instinct is to be there or thereabouts. Keeper has no chance. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Possession changes hands. The interception there. Here it is now. A substitution. Bailey. Collins now. Showing patience, looking for the equaliser. Alan. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. With Alan Keegan, that's Alan Keegan. Please Demand. come to reception. Your Clay. Is waiting for Makinoff. Cissé. They've given him too much space. Patient enough build up. Can they carve out a chance? Is it going to be? Has a go. And a goal. That's his brace. They just can't keep him quiet. Well, here we'll see it again. Some lovely quality passing. Fluid as you like. And then through on goal. Do you go for placement or do you go for power? Well, he certainly wasn't messing around, was he? absolutely smashes it past the keeper it's a really lovely finish and time for the change now it's going their way 2-0 inside the last quarter of an hour well, we can now go to Alan McAnally for news of a goal elsewhere. Alan? It's a second goal for Carlisle United. 77 minutes played. 2-2. Two -two. Thanks, Alan. Collins has it. Might be able to set up the chance. Stokes. The hosts have really controlled possession, but it's just where... You sense they need to pick up the pace a little. Start utilising the wide areas more. The back line's doing a decent job. Hopefully the forwards can do that as well. Adams. So a goal kick is what's coming up here. Well, there's been a goal elsewhere. Alan McAnally with the latest. It's a goal for Stevenage. Six minutes remain. 2-1. Many thanks, Alan. Deman. Excellent ball over the top. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. And as a defender, you really have to concentrate to the maximum to bar the door, as he did then. Clay, Deman. Well, by playing keep ball like this, they're keeping the opposition at bay. Now, can they create something? Can he put it away? Well, you know, I don't think the goalkeeper will be the slightest bit bothered by that effort. Well, he won't want to watch that on the replay, I tell you. He was way, way wide there. Jordan Moore Taylor. We've had the official word, there will be a minimum of two added minutes. Hutchinson. Stokes. And the emphasis is on creativity. Untidy on the ball. 
And so the referee blows for full time and it goes down as a victory for the visitors. Lee, what did you make of it? Well, Derek, as we said, this team love a goal fest and they certainly know where the target is. Lovely, lively build-up and a real sharp cutting edge to this lot. Great entertainment, really enjoyable. Well, this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. We have all the action for you live on EA TV. And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. A warm welcome from me, Derek Ray. I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and England defender, Lee Dixon. I'm very much ready to bring you the cut and thrust of League Two. What a game this ought to be, Lee. Yeah, thank you, Derek. Lovely to be here. I can't wait for this one. A nice, quick tempo from both sides will be ideal for me. Let's hope we get that. Should be a great game. And this is how the hosts will begin the game today. And this is the formation most people in the game are very familiar with nowadays. Yeah, most coaches are adopting this formation. What it does give you is two holding players in front of the back four to protect them. But it also gives you three supporting players to that central striker. And the game begins. Kemp, Cissé, have they given him too much space, and that is how to block, he's driven in the corner, and it's played into the centre, how to do it inside your own penalty area well different clubs set different targets for themselves at the start of every campaign I don't think in their wildest dreams the fans of the home side thought they'd be where they are at the moment yeah absolutely still very early in the season though but I'm pretty sure the manager will be delighted with the start they've had certainly surprised most fans and myself you can't complain being top never complain about that even if it is early doors McCormack chance here simple catch really it's
It's opening up for them. Can he finish? Well, just fractionally wide. Good strike. Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man. Lee, what do you anticipate seeing from him? Well, he's been in fine form in the league, as you can see the stats. It's going to be a real test for that back line today to keep him quiet. They switch off for a minute, he'll be in, it'll punish you. Demetriou. Oh, couldn't quite find his teammate. No, not the best challenge. And they're eyeing that final pass, you just feel. Well, we can now go to Alan McAnally for news of a goal elsewhere. Alan? It's a goal for the home team. 18 minutes played, 1-0. Cheers again, Alan. Demetriou. Wonderfully weighted pass. Well, they really had to be on their toes defensively given the circumstances. Clay. Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. And the pass over hit. Cissé. I believe there's been a goal in one of the other matches. Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Bradford City. 24 minutes played. 1-0. Thanks, Alan. Moving it forward. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. Not much defensive cover there on the flank. Demetriou. It looks promising. Demetriou. Pass after pass, keeping their opponents moving. Can he put them in front? Making sure nothing untoward happened. Superb tackle. So a throw in here. Demetriou. McCormack Freeman Clay did well to win the ball back A possession lost intercepted Patient enough build up. Can they carve out a chance? And unable to keep possession. Making progress. Dangerous looking attack. Just the challenge that was required. Nicely cut out. A oh, tremendous block. Demetriou and a chance for him to nudge in front well you have to say he's going to be very
a cross for himself. Well, how's he missed it? It should be the first goal of the the game and just one minute of time added on for stoppages Cissé Clay and so it is the first half story has been written Underway then in the second half. And the two teams matching each other just about stride for stride. Outrageously skillful. Dimitriou. Lennon. Well, they keep passing away. Really well played pass. And just failed to keep the ball in play that time. Well, someone has found the net in one of the other games. Here's Alan McInerney to tell us more. It's a second goal for the home team. 50 minutes played. 2-0. Thanks as ever for the update, Alan. Well, we wondered if this deal was going to be done. In fact, it has now been done, Lee. Well, I've heard him talk about this move. He seems very happy with it, with the media, talking about how he wants to finish his career at the club. Seems like a good bit of business all round. Strength and control, a big part of his game. And he read it well. Freeman. Oh, he's given the ball away unnecessarily. Giving the ball away. Cissé. Kemp. Well, Derek, there's nothing between these two teams in terms of possession. Can someone take control of this game? Take a few more risks. Hopefully we'll see a goal soon. And the ruling is offside here. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes. And now both sides will make personnel switches. Lennon. McCormack. on the scent of something positive can he do it to take the lead given the position he was in he's not going to be especially pleased with himself well he took the chance with power not always the best option Cissé Kemp Deman how could he take them on and beat them Cissé. Clay. That's a lovely ball. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. Untidy in possession. Looks promising this. Takes aim. Good defending to prevent the chance. finish well it's come down to the final 20 minutes here would Phil Jones that's Phil Jones please contact your nearest steward thank you McCormack Ferguson Dimitriou 
In possession, Sam Hart. Can they trouble the opposition this time? McCormack. Well, they're keeping their opponents moving and guessing. Fruitful looking attack. Patient build up at the moment. And he read it superbly. Well, there's been a goal elsewhere. Alan McAnally with the latest. It's a second goal for Stevenage. 79 minutes played. 2 1. Regular updates from Alan McAnally along the way. And taken away. Just 10 minutes to go. McCormack. And the pass over hit. Five minutes remaining. And level pegging here. In possession, Sam Hart. Ferguson. Well, I'm hearing there's been a goal in one of the other games. Alan McAnally can fill us in. It's a second goal for Bradford City. Four minutes remain. 2-0. Cheers again, Alan. Could be. Whatever way you look at that, it's been squandered. McCormack. And the search goes on for a winner. Time is tight. Must take the lead here. Oh, he's been foiled. How pivotal could that be at this stage of the game? Well, that's a solid save. Really good reactions there. Well, they had a decent reading of that ball in. Great challenge. He got nothing but ball. And that will do it, the end of this contest. The two teams matching each other in just about every department, but a nil-nil draw when all is said and done, Lee. Well, Derek, they say you never get a good nil. your money I'm gonna end up in the ground in the phone I don't want you holding back it's like
All eyes on one man in a rich vein of form and topping the scoring charts. Will he add more today on EA TV? And welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary is Lee Dixon. I'm very excited to be able to bring you live action from League Two coming up. This ought to be a thriller, Lee. I'm excited, Derek. Really looking forward to this game. Come on, bring it on. Just tell us, Lee, what you think the plan should be from the point of view of the visitors. Well, I think the visitors will get everybody behind the ball and try and spring attacks from that position. And if you've got the right type of players to soak up that pressure, then why not adopt that tactic? Makes complete sense to me. Thompson. Cissé, Deman, he's very adept at protecting the ball. Well, someone has found the net in one of the other games. Here's Alan McInerney to tell us more. It's a goal for Bolton Wanderers. Six minutes played, 1-0. Thanks, Alan. Clay, Deman, He's lost it. Delightful pass. And there to intervene. It is to be a throw-in. Adams. Or can they prize them open now? Read it well. Well, let's get details of a goal that's been scored in one of the other games from Alan McAnally. And in with a real chance. Well, he saw the whites of the keeper's eyes and the whites of his outstretched gloves. Great goalkeeping. Well, he's denied a certain goal there. Great reflexes from the keeper. And not an attempt he'll be terribly proud of. Apologies to Alan McAnally for having to cut him off. Once again, to repeat the news, a goal for the away side in that game. And their lead stands at 1-0 presently. And really closing him down here. Might be able to set up the chance. It looks promising. And off the frame again! Looks promising, this. Just couldn't get it through. Well, it was so, so close there, Derek, to taking the lead. Just can't believe that the woodwork saved the goalkeeper on that occasion. Read it magnificently and intercepted. Well, in one of the other games, the referee, I'm hearing, has pointed to the spot. More details from Allen. It's a penalty for the home team. A slight delay as the ref clears the defenders. Here he comes. It's hit the post and out. 27 minutes played. It remains 1-1. Regular up. Are they going to forge ahead? And the keeper is showing tremendous command. And firing it into the area. This looks promising. It's opening up for them. An alert intervention.
Cisse. Just looking for the right moment for that final pass. What can he do from here? Wonderful chance! I'm not testing the keeper at all with that effort. When you look at those stats, Derek, it tells a story all of its own. They haven't created enough chances. Their forwards have been off the game as well. They haven't really utilised the wide areas for me, but they should go on and win the game, to be honest. Well, we can now go to Alan McAnally for news of a goal elsewhere. Alan? It's a goal for the home team. 36 minutes played. 1-0. Thanks as ever for the update, Alan. Cissé. Kemp. And they need to get tighter. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. Firing it towards goal. Keeper had work to do. Well, a chance here perhaps to invigorate their aerial targets. And he's fired over the corner. Tremendous intuition to win it back. And dispossessed. Clay. Well, visionary passing. It did appear that they might be onto something, but not so. Well, possibilities in the centre. Wonderful the block. Indicated there will be well, the electronic the board showing one additional minute. That is that for the first half here. Well, you might say he'll be happy with some aspects of his performance so far, but not every aspect, Lee. Well, no goals for him, no real chances either. He needs to help his team a little bit more just to... Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Well, they're moving the ball neatly enough, just looking for that decisive pass. Now he must favour the cross. Couldn't keep it. A goal has been scored in one of the other games. Alan McAnally has the news. It's a second goal for the visitors. 49 minutes played. 2-1. Alan McAnally keeping us right up to date. Transfer news concerning Borussia Dortmund. They've hit the target on this one, I think, Lee. Well, Derek, reported fee close to £25 million. He's not bad. He should have an impact. I quite like him. Clean challenge. He's given us away. Adams. Disappointing pass. Now can they make something happen? Deman. An attack full of promise. Smuggled away. It needs an accurate cross. This looks promising. And he did well to cut it out. Well, that's the kind of play you want from your defender. And now, passing it through, 
And a goal! That will do it. They've been pushing for it. And now they've been rewarded. Well, as we see again here, the damage is started with a beauty of a through ball. There's still a lot of work to be done, but the keeper presents the near post on a plate, and he's punished. That's quite remarkable. Well, he's every right to be angry. The players are not executing his game plan today. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Cissé. Really good reading of the game to win possession back. As you can see, the visitors haven't had too much of the ball, but to their credit, they've been absolutely blistering on the counter-attack. They just sit back, hit you on the break, and it's really working for this team. Would Alex O'Neill please meet your wife at the ticket office? Thank you. Kemp. Cissé. Excellent defending. Adams. Well, that's how to dispossess your opponent. Well, it's come down to the final 20 minutes here. Well, that's one for them to pursue. Real danger. Can he finish this? And the keeper getting across to stop it. And news of a goal in one of the other matches. Over to Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for Bolton Wanderers. 73 minutes played. 2-1. Many thanks, Alan. Excellent block. Great strong tackle. Throw in forthcoming. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. And a chance to whip it in here. Opportunity. Clay. Kemp. Just listen to the crowd, Derek, urging their team on. Surely they'll get another chance. An incisive pass. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Well, let's get details of a goal that's been scored in one of the other games from Alan McAnally. It's a third goal for the visitors. Eight minutes remain. 3-1. Thanks, Alan. High quality defending. And winning it back. In the right place to cut out the pass. Five minutes remaining, and one thing is certain, no one is leaving, because it's still close. Excellent ball over the top, and a crucial intervention inside the box. They've got it now, what can they do? Well, it was a very good-looking move, but alas, no end product. Well, the counter chance looks very real. And that was a very fine read. So two minutes to be added on at the end. Two minutes of added time. Diara. Did well to win the ball back. 
And there goes the final whistle. It's gone the wrong way as far as the home fans are concerned. And welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. I'm Derek Ray, joined in the commentary position by Lee Dixon. And very excited to be able to bring you live action from League Two coming up. This ought to be a thriller, Lee. Yeah, thanks, Derek. I'm just hoping we get a nice, quick tempo from the start of this game. Both teams do like to get forward, both positive in their approach in the game. So we should be in for some entertainment. Successfully cut out. Well, much has been made of the way our hosts like to press high up the pitch, really force errors. Lee, can we anticipate seeing more of the same today? Yeah, I think so, Derek. It's very effective. I mean, if you press as a team, all it takes is one errant pass or a poor first touch and you're in trouble. Obviously, you have to be very, very fit to maintain that over 90 minutes. But in the modern game, that's a basic expectation. Well, we can now go to Alan McAnally for news of a goal elsewhere. Alan? It's a goal for Colchester United. Ten minutes played, 1-0. Cheers again, Alan. Kemp. Freeman. Can he put it away? And able to close down the shots. And a goal kick will be next. Smith. Osborne. Luke Norris. Norris. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Oh, lovely weighted ball. They might be in. Well, offside anyway, albeit a tight one. Getting in there to intercept. Couldn't hang on to the ball. Simple for the keeper, dealing with that long-range effort. Tremendous ball played through. He's in position. Ideal for the goalkeeper, for any keeper. Well, someone has found the net in one of the other games. Here's Alan McInerney to tell us more. It's a goal for the home team. 23 minutes played. 1-0. Thanks, Alan. And a good-looking ball. Well, not quite the cross he was hoping for. This is a message for all away supporters. Well, the visitors very much dictating the tempo over the last 15 minutes or so. They really have put the pressure on. You feel their play deserves a goal, but will they get one? They need to just be a little bit better, a little bit more clinical. Now. 
Martin. Luke Norris. And the cross is very much on. It's with Hutton. Luke Prosser. It's with Hutton. Smith. They really look after the ball when they have it. Luke Norris. Well, let's get details of a goal that's been scored in one of the other games from Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for the home team. 33 minutes played. 2-0. Alan McAnally with his finger on the pulse. Cissé. Deman. Oh, and a perfect ball now. How about this? He's lost it. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. Not the pass he had in mind. Fruitful looking attack. And a goal! 1 0 it is. They've been pushing for the opener, and now they have it. So the match has restarted. 1 0 here. Smith. It should be. Tenacious tackling. Excellent defending there. Kemp. Deman. What can they do from here? This looks promising. could level it no worries for the keeper well the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks we're at the end of 45 minutes in this game well this man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point Lee well Derek it certainly was a good 45 Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Deman. The referee correctly decided to play advantage. And successfully cut out. I believe there's been a goal in one of the other matches. Alan McAnally. It's the second goal for the visitors. 49 minutes played. 2-1. Thank you, Alan McAnally. Moving the ball nicely. Trying to carve out the equaliser. Deman. A super tackle and they've won possession. The hosts really haven't had too much of the ball. But on the break, they've been devastating. The pace really hurts defences. They've been electric when they've had the ball. Osborne. And that's a straightforward stop. Clay. Difficult to stop him. Doughty defending to win the ball back. Luke Prosser, Smith, Osborne, now can they make something happen, well they keep passing away, Luke Norris, 
Smith. Not high quality defending. This might be the perfect counter attacking opportunity. Well, not to be in terms of the counter attack. And 30 minutes left for play in this match. That's not a bad ball. Really good high press. Dangerous looking attack. And threading it forward. And a goal to increase their advantage. It's a two goal lead now. Well, here's the replay. It's a really lovely through ball. And then through on goal. Do you go for placement or do you go for power? Well, he certainly wasn't messing around, was he? Absolutely smashes it past the keeper. It's a really lovely finish. I'm hearing that there's been a goal in one of the other matches. Who is it for, Alan McAnally? It's the second goal from Bradford City. 66 minutes played, 2-1. Alan McAnally keeping us right up to date. It might be perfectly set up for the counter-attack, you know. Well, far from the ideal pass, you've got to say. Deman, Kemp, Clay, now potential danger, opportunity, and the goalkeeper covered a lot of ground to push that away from danger, well he's given a corner, they referee, over it comes, how about the cross, sends it back, tremendous block, and he did what he had to do defensively. He's driven in the corner. Just unable to take advantage of that developing situation. He succeeds in clearing it. They've got it now, what can they do? to nothing in the end well an honest assessment would be that he hasn't really been on top of his game in attack Lee well he's tried hard Derek I'll give him that but his heart has ruled his head never clever enough today to find enough space to lose his marker that's probably the major reason why they're losing this game so deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture and he's fired over the corner And firing it into the area. The fist of the goalkeeper. Has someone to play it to. Opportunity for them to get back into the game. A goal here. Giving his team precisely what they were looking for. Now he deserves to celebrate it. Well, here it is again. Lovely disguise on the cross. The pullback catches out the defenders. And you have to say, with a finish to grace any game. Lovely, calm, classy strike right there. Well, as they kick off again, 2-1 the current state of affairs. Well, if they carry on doing their jobs, they should be fine in this game. The fans are certainly doing their bit. Just ten minutes to go. Cuthbert. Martin. Not showing good patience. It did look on for them, but not to be. Well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Oh, a lovely ball. Oh, a goal! An equaliser in the closing stages! Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. And then through on goal, do you go for placement or do you go for power? Well, he certainly wasn't messing around, was he? Absolutely smashes it past the keeper. It's a really lovely finish. Well, as the game has restarted, we're left to reflect on four goals. 2-2. Two -two.
Smith. Can they push ahead in the closing stages? Beautifully weighted ball. And they'll get ready for the throw-in. Read it magnificently and intercepted. Getting in there to intercept. There will be three minutes added on at the end. He's going forward well here. And a useful cross. And it all counts for naught. Demand. Now can they counter clinically? And attempting the through ball. And the alarm bells are ringing. It has to be. Oh, a goal! Can you believe what we're watching? It truly is a comeback and a half. Well, as we can see again here, he knows exactly what he's doing and kids all the defenders with the cutback. But then there's plenty to do from there. He's hit it so well. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. Great strike. And so the final whistle here. The visitors come out on top lead. Well, split by that one goal. That's how close the game was. Neither team deserved to lose, really. It was so tight. Well, his performance in this particular game will have impressed many people, Lee. Well, he never gave that back line a chance to get a breath. Two goals for the lad today. Played superbly well, looked really sharp, constantly playing on the shoulder of the last defender. A real handful. Fruitful looking attack. Through my mind with it. I think she might be robbing. She can take what she wants. I just wanna make you late. Would you wanna waste that? I know you like my goopy. I bet you hate that. I see what's underneath, and I love you more now. And now I know how. Yeah. If I got one thing right, it was you and me. But I go into the window, 
Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hosts have been scoring freely all season, but they face the best defence in the league. Who will come out on top? We'll have every kick of the ball for you live on EA TV. Hello everyone, the weather forecasters promised us a very pleasant day for football and that's exactly what we've got. My name is Derek Ray and with me in the commentary position is the Arsenal legend Lee Dixon. I'm very excited to be able to bring you live action from League Two coming up. This really should be a belter of a game, Lee. Cheers, Derek. Yes, excited about this one. Interesting matchup for me. We should get a good game here, hopefully. Well, this was always going to be an intriguing contest. The number one attack against the tightest defence. Lee, how do you see it going? Well, Derek, I'm on the fence, to be honest with you. I can't pick a winner in this one. And with that in mind, I'm going for a nil-niller. Sorry, Del Boy. This is how it looks for the home side. Thank you. Would Enjoy you call it 4 game. 5 1, Lee? Yeah, I really like this formation, Derek. 4 2 3 1, really. Two central midfield players supplying support to a three ahead of them, and then a lone striker with a number 10 just behind him. Deman. Clay. Cisse. Well, you know, most teams have a preferred way of playing. The visitors do like to press high. They try to force errors. Lee, do you anticipate seeing that from them in this game? Yeah, I do, Derek. I really do. It's a brave way of playing, though, away from home. It just shows the confidence the coach has in this group of players. Magnificent defending. Clay. And take it away. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. Deman. And giving the ball away. Evans Cook Well, I'm hearing there's been a goal in one of the other games. Alan McAnally can fill us in. It's a goal for the home team. 15 minutes played, 1-0. Thanks, Alan.
chance to do damage. Harry Pritchard. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. Could it be? Oh, a tremendous... He's unable to take the chance, and he'll be disappointed here. Well, nil-nil. It should be one-nil. It really should. Well, he likes to run at them. Wood. Harry Pritchard. Oh, tight offside decision. But the flag does go up. O'Connor. O'Connor. Wood. Cook. They do pass the ball with authority. Fruitful looking attack. An example of a goalkeeper on top of his game, Lee. Well, that is genius. Absolutely genius. Played into the center of the box. Terrific block there. Cutting the ball back. Will he find the net? Well, he had a lot of ground to cover. Splendid save. Corner kick played in. Well, he couldn't quite keep it down. Well, we can now go to Alan McAnally for news of a goal elsewhere. Alan? It's a goal for the home team. 26 minutes played. 1-0. Thanks very much as always, Alan. Derek, the visitors dominating possession. It's been really impressive. They really have put the pressure on. You feel their play deserves a goal, but will they get one? They need to just be a little bit better, a little bit more clinical. Cook. Excellent vision. But he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. He might be able to profit from the wide position. A deep delivery. The opening goal, but on the balance of play, who would have expected this? Well, how have they done that? They don't deserve it, but they'll take it. Well, let's look at this again. Magical football on the break. Surprise is the key. And then it's a good heady finish, to be fair. Keeper, no chance. Lovely goal. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? The opening goal of the game, then. Harry Pritchard. Richard, Cook, Cook, O'Connor, Harry Pritchard, Richard. O'Connor. Well, I'm hearing there's been a goal in one of the other games. Alan McAnally can fill us in. It's a goal for Oldham Athletic. 41 minutes played. 1-1. One, one. Many thanks, Alan. Cook. A really effective shielding under pressure. O'Connor. Evans, Evans, Gareth Evans here. Wood, 
And one minute of stoppage time has been added on. O'Connor. Oh, good use of the ball. And unable to keep possession. So the whistle then. We're at the halfway stage in this match. tremendous block he's unable to take the chance and he'll be disappointed here well nil nil it should be one the teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences O'Connor O'Connor. Harry Pritchard. Using his physical strength to shield it. Cook. Crisp tackling. And possession lost, intercepted. Can they get in behind them? The hosts really haven't had too much of the ball, but they won't mind. They're winning this game. And why? Because their counter-attack is absolutely fantastic. Well, it could be on for him here. And mistimed the run, sadly. That's offside. Cook. Harry Pritchard. Not a great pass. Cissé. And the counter looks on here. Options available. This might have potential. That's a nice looking ball. A wonderful intervention. Wood. Well, let's get details of a goal that's been scored in one of the other games from Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for the home team. 61 minutes played, 2-0. Thanks very much as always, Alan. Oh, couldn't quite find his teammate and clears his lines and continues his run not the pass he had in mind Evans the attack continues they're making considerable progress This looks promising. A really top-notch piece of defending. The quality of pass needs to be a bit better. And using his strength to shield the ball. Defensive efficiency personified. He has time to play it over. Harry Pritchard. It's there for him. No shortage of excitement. Level again. No wonder they're excited. Even Steven won a piece on this match. Well, it's come down to the final 20 minutes here. Well, it was a foul, but good use of advantage by the referee. 
Evans. Cook. They really look after the ball when they have it. Now he must favour the cross. Cook. Big chance. And it's two for him today. A masterful performance. The defenders unable to stop him. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? And it's a matter of what occurs in the final 15 minutes. Cissé. Well, it was a menacing attack, but tidied up. In behind for him to chase. Pivotal moment defensively. Here it is now, a substitution. Options in the middle. Surely! In it goes! Two goals in rapid fire fashion and looking very comfortable here. Well, as we look at this again, what they always say, focus on the ball, ensure you strike it cleanly. He's done just that. What a finish. No shortage of goals in this match. 3-1. Well, there's been a goal elsewhere. Alan McAnally with the latest. It's the second goal for Bolton Wanderers. Eight minutes remain. 2-1. Thank you, Alan McAnally. Harry Pritchard. Well, that must be mighty annoying when you can't get near the ball. And attempting the through ball. Takes the shot. Terrific save. Substitution for Bradford City. Coming off the pitch. Number 17, Gareth Evans. Played into the centre of the box. That's all they can conjure for now. Promising looking attack. Crossing into the middle, able to close down the shot. And over comes the corner. Just wanted to get it out of there. Deman. Clay. Options in the centre, but dealt with efficiently. This looks promising. Great challenge, he got nothing but ball. Wood, O'Connor. And there goes the final whistle. It's gone the wrong way as far as the home fans are concerned, Lee.
The man to watch, in a rich vein of form and topping the scoring charts. Will he add more today on EA TV? Hello everyone and welcome. What we can't complain about today is the weather. Absolutely perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray, joined here on the commentary box as always by Lee Dixon. And our live coverage comes to you from League Two. I can't wait for this, Lee. Yeah, really looking forward to this one, Derek. Excite me. Come on, let's see some entertainment. An important interception. Henderson. An authoritative challenge. Man. And the flag does go up offside. Well, I'm sure the visitors will be thinking about claiming all three points here, Lee. They do know that if results go their way, they could end the day at the summit. Well, yeah, they've looked good as the season's progressed. Still early on, though, but I'm sure they're not getting too carried away about their title. Can they forge ahead? They do! And you've got to say, they're good value for the lead. Well, it is good play. You might question the defending, but I prefer to be positive. Really good build-up and an easy finish. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Cissé. Thompson. Clay, Freeman, well, real difficulty keeping the ball, well, sloppy in possession, it might be on for them, well, we can now go to Alan McAnally for news of a goal elsewhere, Alan? It's a goal for Bradford City, 15 minutes played, 1-0. Alan McAnally with his finger on the pulse. Now the timing of the pass, that little bit off. Hunter. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. And failed to keep himself onside, unfortunately. On a penalty in one of the other matches, but for which team? Alan McAnally. It's a penalty for Walsall. A slight delay as the ref clears the defenders. Here he comes. Beautiful penalty straight down the middle. Goalkeeper out box. 20 minutes played, 1-0. Regular updates from Alan McAnally along the way. Uncomfortable in dealing with the ball played in. Coots. Henderson. Well, they couldn't keep possession. Martin. 
Perfectly positioned to take it away. I understand there's been a goal in the Bolton Wanderers game. Let's hear all about it from Alan McInerney. It's a goal for Port Vale. 27 minutes played. 1-1. Thank you, Alan McInerney. Oh, great vision. And they could really get at the opposition. Well, no way through. Kemp. Deman. What can he do from here? It's there for him. Oh, crucial tackle. Brilliant. Goalkeeper's ball every day of the week. Paul Coots. Now, let's see what they can do here. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. The hosts have had the lion's share of possession. However, after that, the coach will be disappointed with what they produced. They need to be a little bit more clinical in front of goal. Martin. Henderson. Great opportunity. And a goal to square the game. Edge of the seat stuff. Well, as we see again here, this really is patient, accurate, incisive passing at its best. And he had choices of what type of finish to apply. And bang, he goes for the smash. Lovely goal. Cissé. Thompson. Clay. Freeman. It's opening up for them. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw in. Kemp. And an astute piece of defending. Freeman. Well, no stopping him. And a chance to whip it in here. Well, he dealt with that ball played in rather well. And there it is, the half-time whistle. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Clay. Deman. And he read it superbly. Making progress. Martin. Couldn't keep it. Well, high marks for that pass. And scope for them to produce something exciting. Deman looks promising this. And clears his lines. Ian Henderson. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Martin. And running it back. Deman. 
Kemp. And they have possession again. And news of a goal in one of the other matches. Over to Alan McAnally. It's a goal for the visitors. 58 minutes played. 1-1. Cheers again, Alan. Moving the ball effectively. Looking for the right moment. So a throw in here. And time for the change now. And 30 minutes left for play in this match. Paul Coots. Henderson. It might be on for them. Always going to be the goalkeeper's ball. Well, Derek, just look at those stats. Not created enough chances. They really haven't. They need to up the tempo, put the pressure on. Then they should win this game. Well, let's get details of a goal that's been scored in one of the other games from Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for Southend United. 64 minutes played. 2-1. Thanks, Alan. Deman. Real danger. Moving the ball effectively. Can he put them in front? Well, I think you could call that an escape. It looked a certain goal. Paul Coots. Possession changes hands. The interception there. And the danger is averted. Paul Coots. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. Hunter. Ian Henderson. This looks promising. And a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Clay. And it's a matter of what occurs in the final 15 minutes. He has time to play it over. Well, he's lost the ball. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Accurate pass upon accurate pass. Just the challenge that was required. Well, there's been a goal elsewhere. Alan McAnally with the latest. It's a goal for the visitors. Nine minutes remain. 1-0. Alan McAnally keeping us right up to date. Well, he's been ruled offside. Retaining possession proving difficult. Deman. Still pushing for a winner. Must take the lead here. Well kept out. And the teams are level. And every corner counts at this juncture. Over it comes. It didn't happen for them. Read it superbly to take back possession. Boyd. Boyd. George Boyd. On the attack. Is this to be late drama? Hunter. Ian Henderson. Giving them a different option by moving in field. Can they forge ahead? Yes is the answer. 
and that could be all so important. Well, here we we'll see it again, some lovely quality passing, fluid as you like. And then just look at the way he opens up his body here. Times it perfectly and catches it so sweetly. It's a wonderful strike. And that is that. Well, a tale of woe in terms of the scoreline as far as the visitors are concerned here, Lee. Well, there's no doubt they'll be disappointed. No points gained today, and that will hurt a little bit. I think the manager knows they weren't quite right today. They need to regroup and go again. And the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Lee. Well, grabbing that late winner was the icing on the cake. What a good performance from him. Hello everyone, the weather forecasters promised us a very pleasant day for football and that's exactly what we've got. My name is Derek Ray and I'm joined for commentary by Lee Dixon. I'm very much ready to bring you the cut and thrust of League Two. This ought to be a fantastic watch, Lee. Well, thank you, Derek. All the talking is done. Time now to put the coach's plans into action. Let's...
Our camera's on one man in a rich vein of form and number one on the scoring charts. Can he do it again today, live on EA TV? Hi everyone, it is an absolutely splendid day for football and we're looking forward to the game. I'm Derek Ray, joined here in the commentary position as always by Lee Dixon. And on this Halloween, I don't think we're going to be putting the frighteners on anyone given the game that's about to commence. This ought to be a thriller, Lee. Well, thank you, Derek. Yeah, lots of strange, weird dress sense for the crowd today. Looking forward to a real cracker, though, on the pitch. Tommy Smith. Kemp are getting the ball forward. It comes to nothing in the end. And a chance for him on the flank. Deman. Looks promising this. An attack full of promise. It's opening up for them. Not high quality defending. Not much time to make up his mind. Well, there's been a goal elsewhere. Alan McAnally with the latest. It's a goal for Scunthorpe United. Seven minutes played, 1 0. Many thanks, Alan. Stevenson. Well, attacking possibilities, but a shocking pass, really. But as we glance at the table, it really is shaping up to be a captivating season, highly competitive, especially at the summit. Yeah, plenty of teams in the hunt hoping to lift the trophy at the end of the season. I think most fans, Derek, particularly the neutrals like me and you, love a close race. Nobody likes to see a team run away with it. And there to intervene. And they'll get ready for the throw-in. And players waiting in the centre. And you need your defender to take charge. And offside, unfortunately. Stevenson. Credit to them for winning back possession. Brown. Well, couldn't quite find his teammate. Deman. Can they trouble the opposition this time? Didn't quite go to plan. Stevenson. I believe there's been a goal in one of the other matches. Alan McAnally. It's a goal for the home team. 23 minutes played. 1 0. Thank you, Alan McAnally. Stevenson. Harry Pell. be a bit annoyed to have lost the ball Cissé and a tidy ball and a fine cross thumps clear well, being pressed here Harry Pell Brown it's with Pell. And an astute piece of defending. Well, someone has found the net in one of the other games. Here's Alan McAnally to tell us more. It's a goal for Port Vale. 
32 minutes played, 1-1. Thanks very much as always, Alan. Well, he needed to read it to get there, and did. It is to be a throw-in. Looks promising, this. Kemp. Deman. A really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Stevenson. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. Well, as you can see from the possession, there's little between these two teams. It's been a real tight, cagey affair. You just hope it opens up a little that one of these teams is willing to take a few risks. Deman. Clay. And a textbook interception. A bit sloppy in possession. Unable to keep the ball. Stevenson. Smith. Harry Pell. Now the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Cissé. Deman. Kemp. Clay. And news of a goal in one of the other matches. Over to Alan McAnally. It's the second goal for the visitors. 47 minutes played, 2-1. Thanks as ever for the update, Alan. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. A chance maybe from the wide position. Just cutting off the supply. Stevenson Harry Pell well he's given it away Deman and they continue to advance and a lot of options here chance to play it in It looks promising. To jump in front. That is top-notch goalkeeping. He had to reach in with his hand. Yeah, it's all about reading the pace of the ball and the player's feet. When do I go down? When do I strip the ball? Did a brilliant job then. And in one of the other games, the referee I'm hearing has pointed to the spot. More details from Allen. It's a penalty opportunity here. And a goal! Now they've broken through. 1-0 here. So the match has restarted, 1-0 here.
Half an hour remaining then. Cissé. Demand. Good visualization and execution. Gives it a go. Oh, it's a penalty in the opinion of the referee. And maybe they'll be able to level this up. Well, a judgment call for the referee. Many an official would have cautioned him. And a goal! He was composure personified, and he's done his job from the spot. Well, here's the replay, and nine times out of ten, Derek, the keeper will always die. I used to love going down the middle. Keepers hate it. So, a level contest. 1-1. Eastman. It's with Pell. Now oh, moving the ball impressively here. He's protecting it effectively. An astute piece of defending. Deman now counter-attacking possibilities here. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. Able to close down the shot. Tommy Smith. Stevenson. Well, that'll be a free kick. And with play stop, they will make the change now. Well, we can now go to Alan McAnally for news of a goal elsewhere. Alan? It's a second goal for the home team. 76 minutes played. 2-0. Regular updates from Alan McAnally along the way. And a chance to whip it in here. And he's made headway. And the keeper taking care of the situation. Well, Derek, you can sense the frustration growing from the fans. That leads on to the players being frustrated too. You can sense it. Can they get the goal? Stevenson. Ten minutes left for play in this match. Can they grab the lead late on? Can he put them in front? He does! And with so little time left, that might be the winner. Wonderful drama. Well, here's the replay. It's a very neat piece of deception to get past the defender. And then through on goal. Do you go for placement or do you go for power? Well, he certainly wasn't messing around, was he? Absolutely smashes it past the keeper. It's a really lovely finish. On the attack in the closing phase. Just cutting off the supply. And a throw-in forthcoming. So a personnel change then. Getting in there to take it away. Well, the crowd have reacted to this effort the players are putting in. They just need to keep their concentration and the game should be theirs. And a textbook interception. This could be it! An alert intervention. Well, the referee has instructed the fourth official to put two minutes on the board. Chance to play it in. Well, that ball looks promising. 
Well, when you sit off like this, you invite pressure. And that is the end of the contest and not a happy outcome as far as the visitors are concerned. And welcome to Los Angeles. This is the scene at Dignity Health Sports Park, the venue for this game. My name is Derek Ray. With me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and England defender Lee Dixon. And we can't wait for this one to start with justifiable cause. It's the United States and they take on South Africa. Yeah, thanks, Derek. I'm just hoping we get a nice, quick tempo from the start of this game. Both teams do like to get forward. Both positive in their approach in the game, so we should be in for some entertainment. And the lineup for the home side. I'll tell you what, you don't see this formation every day of the week. No, I mean, it looks very attack minded with the three up front, the three in midfield supplying the width as well. But I'm a little bit worried about the three centre backs. Will they get exposed in the wide areas?
And they kick off here. Deman. Nagby. Brooks. Darlington Nagby. Kellen Acosta. Nagby. Acosta. Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. Or someone who can dominate a game with his play on the ball, Christian Pulisic. Lee, what do you expect to see from him in this match? Well, pace. Just look how fast he runs. Absolute nightmare for defenders to defend against when the player has that weapon. Can they forge ahead? They do. And you've got to say, they're good value for the lead. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. And he had choices of what type of finish to apply. And bang, he goes for the smash. Lovely goal. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Keegan Dolly. And now they have the ball back. Ariola. Zimmerman on the ball. And in the perfect position to read it. Now racing past his man, flinging himself at it, the keeper. And now the delivery. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. Acosta. Ariola. Is it going to be? Good defending to prevent the chance. And firing it into the area. Well, as a defender, that will sit you down to the ground. Keegan Dolly. Not a bad pass it was. Delightful pass. And now passing it through. Nicely saved. And the referee has given the corner. So maybe scope here for them to add to their lead. Played into the center of the box. And the keeper acquitted himself well. Yeah, it was a good ball in, wasn't it? But the keeper did everything right. Zungu. Moving the ball nicely, looking for that final pass. Keegan Dolly. Take it away. Zungu. Using his physical strength to shield it. Dangerous looking attack. Acosta. He's given it straight to the opposition. Then Minkozi Losh. Big chance. Well, good technique in terms of how he struck it. Tremendous intuition to win it back. 
Shot attempted. Saved, but still a chance. It looks promising. This looks promising. Keegan Dolly. Good looking sequence. Oh, surely. Oh, a powerful effort. Close. The hosts really haven't had too much of the ball, but they won't mind. They're winning this game. And why? Because their counter-attack is absolutely fantastic. Throw-ins given. Zungu. Keegan Dolly. On the ball, Dolly. Moving it forward. Could play it in. Well, they continue their push for the equaliser, but definitely not forcing it. And will it be the leveller? Surely. Body in the way. In behind for him to chase. Flag raised for offside. Lorsch. I don't know why all of a sudden we got three heads in here. Like, who? It's like 5 a.m. This is that's that's outrageous. <laughs> Alright, well maybe they're just waking up. They're gonna see how long this shit is and be like, yo, like you have no life. And so it is, the first half story has been written. There's no way. And they kick off here. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Zungu, and he read it superbly. Darlington Nagby promising pass an attack full of promise real danger has a go and he's made it a brace for himself the defenders just unable to stay with him and he's having a field day Well, sometimes being at the right place at the right time gets you a goal. On this occasion, it's a simple goal from his point of view. So, 2-0 now. Keegan Dolly. Zungu. Chance to reduce the arrears. A goal! Just what they needed. Still plenty of life in this match. Well, here we we'll see it again. Some lovely quality passing. Fluid as you like. And then through on goal. Do you go for placement or do you go for power? Well, he certainly wasn't messing around, was he? absolutely smashes it past the keeper it's a really lovely finish 
Well, 2-1 it is here. Alejandro Badoya. Bedoya. Now moving the ball impressively here. The visitors' possession stats are brilliant, but after that, it's been disappointing. I'd like to see them use those wide areas around the defence, get round them, I suppose, to try to go through the middle. And an astute piece of defending. And we're inside the final 30 minutes. Crossing opportunity. Dangerous looking attack. Getting in there to intercept. Now, counter attacking possibilities here. Might be able to set up the chance. It looks promising. Went in strongly, decisively. Morris. Fruitful looking attack. Hunting a hat trick, he was, but couldn't make it count. Well, so much confidence he's got after his first two goals. You fully expected him to score there, but he's missed it. Deman. And possession lost, intercepted. Space and time for the cross. Tremendous block. Breaking at pace. Can they take advantage? He just needs to keep a cool head. And there it is! A two-goal cushion now. And they just need to keep the concentration. Well, we can see it again now. And it really is a difficult ball to defend against over the top and into space and once he gets himself settled with the keeper to beat he hammers it into the back of the net smashing goal so there it is 3-1 the current scoreline here Looking for the right moment for that final pass. Bernard Parker. High quality defending. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Just fractionally wide. So unfortunate. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Not what he was intending. Bad pass. And they'll get ready for the throw-in. Could cross it in here. Can they get in behind them? Tulani Serrero. Well, that's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. 
And the counter looks on here. Options available. Well, not great defending. Not messing around with that clearance. Tyler Adams. Plenty of forward momentum here. But can they produce? Well, unable to hold his run. And that's offside. And they've been getting two substitutes warmed up. And both will come on here. Lorsch. Beautifully weighted ball. Can he play it in? And making his move inside. Just too close to the goalkeeper in the end, wasn't it? Yeah, poor technique, really. And got troubled. One minute remaining. And he was in the right place to... Opportunity here. And there it is, the final whistle, and the fans will be leaving the stadium with smiles on their faces, Lee. Yeah, their two-goal advantage in the end was just reward for their good play today for me. Worthy winners. Well, his performance in this particular game will have impressed many people, Lee. Well, clearly the difference between the two sides today. Two goals, a really good performance, ran into the channel, did everything. And they kick off here. Stays twisted. I'm the prototype of an outcast on my jacks and ain't seen my missus. And on my jacks, and I ain't seen my rose. It's a shame the way the saying goes that you're in bad company when you're alone. Well, I'ma pull up every memory on my English rose. While the sky turns blue, so far I'll get lost in your nine letters. There's no need to be cryptic, addicted to missing a point, 'cause I know that I'm better. I'm better. When you're there beside me, beside me, beside me, beside me, beside. Dust from the dashboard. Pink sky, pink sky, white light, fiasco. It's been a pain. I just wanna hold your hand. 